Heisman winner. Yeah, he looked like that dude in the NFL level. Game on the line. He threw strike after strike after strike. 91% completion percentage. Just two interceptions yesterday. And he had three total touchdowns. An absolute dominant performance. His teammate Scary Terry said, quote, I think he grew up tonight. You think, Terry? You think? <laughs> Coming up, this, that yeah. one. Thank no doubt about it. So much to say about Jaden Daniels. I love moments like this. It's hard to be a rookie in the NFL, so anytime a rookie can shine, Terry, quite literally Terry. a rookie at anything, it's great to give him praise. Chase, you played quarterback for 14 years. You know just how difficult it is to play at that position in the NFL. Yep. Was a star born last night, Jaden. Absolutely, man. Look, I talked about this when I was uh, breaking down quarterbacks uh, for the draft. And I said Jaden Daniels is the most polished passer in the 2024 NFL draft. I got receipts. Yeah, I don't yeah. do receipts a lot on this show, but I just want you to show. It was, it was also a breakdown that I post on Twitter, 20-minute breakdown. And when I say that, I say that because you talk about Caleb Williams, right? Like, he's the most polished passer. I've never seen a guy before go through progressions, right? So you're going to number one. You're going to number two. You're going to number three. Quite like I've seen Jaden Daniels do it. Not only is he an electric runner, he's an electric passer. He's got a chance in the NFL to go down, and I know it's early, but just based on film, because that's all we got. You are what you say you are on film, right? Put it on film. He's got a chance to go down as one of the great dual threat quarterbacks of all time because when he's in the pocket, he doesn't necessarily look to run. Like a Lamar Jackson early in his career before he won his first MVP, he would look at one progression and he knew he was so good at running the ball, he would take off. Jaden Daniels, he's going through one, two. He's going through four progressions. He's running the offense like Cliff Kingsbury should, which he, he needs a lot of credit as yes, well. Yes, he does. Um, yeah. But I just love the way he's playing. He's playing confident. You know when a rookie quarterback is on the field on fourth and four and he's uh -huh. yelling at Cliff Kingsbury, he's yelling at Dan Quinn, give me the ball like the dude, the dog. Yeah, man, I love, I love it. Here's what I know about Jaden Daniels. He is a passer that can run, not a runner that can pass. And that, to me, is a differentiation between a dual-threat quarterback. Jaden Daniels runs. He runs because he wants to. He don't run because he has to. Yep. A lot of young quarterbacks that are athletic, they just run because they have to, because they can't read a defense, because they don't know how to uh, uh, unveil a disguised coverage. But when you watch Jaden Daniels last night, he, from the pocket, picked the Cincinnati Bengals apart. And then when there was nothing in the pocket, he said, oh, I also have this ability to run. But most importantly, what I love from Jaden Daniels was his heart. With the game on the line, he said, mm -hmm. post-game, Elisa Salters at the presser. He said they were in a zero blitz. That is the Cincinnati Bengals. You know he said doing. this, I knew I was going to get hit, but I stood in the pocket and trusted my guys. So not only did da Jaden Daniels have the will to stand in the pocket mm -hmm. and make the throw, he had the skill to stand in the pocket and execute a perfect pass. Some quarterbacks have the skill to do it. Other quarterbacks have the will to do it. But to see a rookie quarterback both have the will to make the throw and the skill to land the throw, it was absolutely okay. astonishing. Jaden Daniels was a star. You know what? I can't say a star was born last night. I got to be honest, right? Okay. I Muhammad Ali said this. He said, I already was a star. Just that y'all didn't know it. Uh -huh. <laughs> he, he been a star because we didn't know it, right? We knew he was going to come. We didn't know it. It was this right, soul. Yeah, I like that. You know what? I had a chance to meet this guy. So me and Acho, um, oh, nice. NFL does a great job. They got some smart people up there. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> for the Ricky Symposium, all the top 50, yeah, yeah. I guess, players in college, yeah. um, they had this Ricky Symposium. And me and Acho went to go talk to him. Me, Acho, and, and Michael Vick. And out of all the players, right, because they do it in sections, mm -hmm. he was so, like, in tune in the conversations, asking questions. And I say, yo, this is a student of the game. He wants to be better, right? Ask all questions about football and, and outside of football. And watching him last night, I could see it. Yeah. His poise, right? Yeah, that's good. When he was running the ball, it's like, no, it's open, then I'm going to run. Like, he was so collected. I couldn't even tell he was a rookie. Mm -hmm. And another thing I want to say, I want to give Washington and Dan Quinn a lot of credit, right? The way that they're performing their team, they're all young, right? And they're all playing together. Do things like get a guy like Zach Ertz, a crafty, mm -hmm. smart veteran. Mm -hmm. That was like a, a security uh, insurance blanket right yep. there, right? If you watch him last night, every time he's looking at third and yep. one, third and three, third and five, he's hitting him, boom. Scary Terry, a fast wide receiver that gets crazy busy with whoever the quarterback is. Terry, and then I look at the corner you got, Kingsbury, yeah. right? College Ball guy in. that's used to having a guy that can run the ball mm -hmm. and throw the ball. And you put him in an offense that fits well for him. Bing, it was a DB bing, talking real bing. spicy and crazy, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? I forget his name. It don't even matter his name because he was getting burnt around. I don't want to give nobody credit saying their name on TV. They don't deserve it. <laughs> but he didn't let that bother him, the quarterback, right? Uh, Jaden didn't even get mad about it. Cool. I'm going to beat you with my arm and not with my words. And if you seen last night the way he played, he yeah.
Yeah. For sure. A star was born, fellas. A star was born. The best thing about that game, watching that game, is it never was too big for him. Mm -hmm. Fourth like down that. didn't look too big. First down didn't. And it's Monday night. Matter of fact, let me switch it. First down looked like fourth down. Yeah. <laughs> he looked like he just was chilling. I know where I'm going with the football. And it was all night long, whether it was him throwing, whether it was him running, it was all night long to where he was like, okay, Cincinnati, that's what you in. I know where I'm going with the football. I know the play I'm going to make. The special thing about him last night is I watched a young kid in his third game mm. out of college mm. make every single person around him better on the offensive side of the ball. That's what a veteran quarterback does. That's what a Josh Allen does. That's what a Patty does. That's what a Lamar does. They make everybody around them better. I seen this young fella last night do that with Scary Terry, with Zach Ertz, whether it was first down, whether it was fourth down. He did that. And... I do got to give credit to the coaching staff. Got to. Because Cliff Kingsbury said, you know what? You were never under the center in college. Mm -hmm. Why am I going to put you under the center in the pros? Yeah. Just because that's what you're supposed to do in the pros? No. He put this young fella in the offense that he ran in college, and he ran it to perfection, and he's looking more and more comfortable every single week. I got something to show you guys. You talked about it, Acho. James, you talked about it. It's that cover zero pressure that we're talking about. We had to go to the big board. I was going to do it in my seat. It's too big of a throw. Let's run it, Colvin, right here. All right, you're going to see the Washington Commanders in offense right now. There's a lot of disarray going on. Where do we do? How do we do it? I don't know, okay? Look at Scary Terry down here. But what I want you to show you, there's eight guys. There's seven guys at the line of scrimmage. Plus three, that's 11. Troy Aikman said that there was 10. There wasn't 10, okay? You can't give him credit for that because he took their soul right here with this throw. You go right here, all right? It's cover zero. I want you to watch a little bit more right here. All right. Look at this throw. He's throwing the football already. Scary oh Terry. God. Scary Terry is double moving right now. He's double moving while oh, he is throwing goodness. football. All right. So let's just run it back one more time because I want to I want to make sure we understand what cover zero is. All right. Inside leverage, inside leverage, inside leverage, inside leverage. That's cover zero. Usually as a quarterback, when you have a double move on, and you have cover zero, you're going to check a screen. He said, give me the ball in the biggest play in the game. This is to go up two scores. I want to see if I can pause it at the exact right second because you got a free runner. You talk about courage in the pocket yeah. for a rookie quarterback in the third game. He's already starting his motion. Scary Terry just broke down. Look at 23, eyes in the backfield, exactly what it is. And then to go up there and to put this on a dime, like right in the bread basket, on the road for a win against Joe Burrow to send them 0-3. There's no better throw I've seen from a rookie quarterback this year. Here's what I love about it. And, and, and you, you can get so much from watching the games and watching the tape like Chase just did. But a story is told if you listen to the players post game. Scary Terry said in the locker room, that's the wide receiver, he said post game, usually if they're in zero pressure, which he knew that they were going to be in, the defensive back will be inside leverage. Mm -hmm. He said he knew he was going to be an inside leverage. He said, but he got out a wide receiver, he saw the DB was an outside leverage. He said, so instantly he's like, I got a double move him. Mm. So Scary Terry's in real time like, uh oh, the DB isn't where I thought the DB would be. <laughs> so now I got to double move him. But the fact that Jaden Daniels and his wide receiver were both on the same page, James, you can speak to it way better than I can, Hold but on. both on the same page. So still give him that double move. Why did they and double the move? the timing work, like, excellent. To oh. double move also in zero pressure That's ridiculous. is low key wild. That's ridiculous. Key, you Hold shouldn't on. have enough time to go ahead, Jay. Hold on real quick. So you saying they broke the huddle. Ready? Break. And he jogged out there, and dude was outside leverage, and he said I gotta he, go. he got a double on his own yeah. without telling the quarterback? He's outside yeah. leverage right here. He yeah. said, I, again, I, I may have misconstrued the pressure, no, no, but no, watching I'm, I'm the pressure, <laughs> he yeah. said, yeah. based on film study, Scary Terry told uh -huh. Kingsbury and told uh, 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 Jaden, yeah. hey, throw me a go ball. Uh -huh. And then he said, usually they're in inside leverage. Yeah, right but then he said, but going out there, yeah. they was an outside leverage. Yeah. Mm. He said, so I realized the only way, and you know better than I, I, I guess outside leverage, yeah. you got to find a way to get outside. So that's why he double moved. No moving. question, because nine times out of ten, you never want to run a goal ball releasing inside as a receiver. You never want to leave the DB outside of you because the, because the quarterbacks are trained to throw it to your outside shoulder. Right. That's how they are trained. You know what I'm saying? So if they are trained mindset-wise, even if you are getting blitzed, even if you're standing in the pocket, to so throw it to your outside shoulder. So if the DB's outside leverage and you release inside, you know naturally I got to widen. Yeah, I got to widen because I know that's where the ball goes yeah, you know. nine times out of ten. So for him to be smart to say I got to double move him to freeze his feet so I can get outside leverage, 
That is special. But this, the best thing about it is you seen when he let the ball go. Early, too. He let the ball go extremely early. The only way you make that throw is if you have the perfect air on this football so Scary Terry can right. adjust to the football. If you throw this ball on the line or you put a little bit too much on it, they are, this is not a completion. This is a special throw and catch by these, these two young fellas right here because if the air is not right, Scary Terry don't get to it. If Scary Terry doesn't double move and get to the outside where this ball is throwing, Almost out of bounds to Scary Terry's outside shoulder. It's not a completion. It's Cincinnati Bengals ball. And then, and then watching this, though, when you watching it, like, from home, you're like, yo, every receiver can't do this. So he knew, like, it's zero. I'm one of my main dudes. And if you don't really know anything about Scary Terry, because he does play for Washington,